John Morant is undoubtedly one of the best players in the entire NBA. However, today's video is going to be about his unfortunate off the court issues and my take on them. Hope you guys enjoy, it's going to be a bit of a different one. For those who need a refresher or don't know the situation, let me give you guys some context. So first, back in March of the regular season, the NBA and the Grizzlies suspended John Morant for a total of 8 games for having possession of a firearm at a strip club while intoxicated. He served his suspension, he apologized for the entire situation, and he entered a rehab program in Florida. So it looked like Ja, after all the bad things or that one bad situation that happened, it looked like he was back on the right track from the negative things he did and he looked to be moving forward in a positive direction and preparing for the playoffs. In the playoffs, the Grizzlies ended up losing in the first round to the Lakers. However, as the playoffs continued, just a couple days ago, another unfortunate Ja Morant situation occurred. While on Instagram Live with, I presume, some of his buddies, Ja flashed his gun, and this is just simply not the right behavior from a guy like him. We know what this guy is capable of. He has $200 million guaranteed in a contract, yet he's just doing all these unnecessary things, ruining himself as a person, as a player. He just ruined his public image. I mean, fans love this guy. He used to be one of the most fan favorite NBA players. All the kids look up to John Morant because of his insane dunking, and now he's just not that type of figure anymore. This just brings so much negative attention to him, the Grizzlies, and it also probably hinders from their playoff success. John Morant used to be one of the most marketable players in the entire NBA. If I asked someone just three months ago before all this unnecessary gun incidents, John Morant would have been one of the top guys they think of when they think of the NBA. I mean, he dunks, he's young, he just brings so much excitement to the game. Everybody wants to be like Ja. He has so much fun on the basketball court. And now, when you think of John Morant, you don't think of dunking, you don't think of fun, you think of guns. And that's just something you don't want to have as one of your best young superstars in the league. And I'm not even saying he can't have a gun. Obviously, anyone has the rights to a gun that's protected by the Second Amendment. I'm talking about how he's flamboyantly just showing it off on social media, on these Instagram lives. I mean, kids look up to you, man. This is something I think, especially you got one warning. You got suspended eight games for it. You got one warning and now you're doing it again, which is just terrible. I thought he had learned his lesson, to be honest, but apparently not. And this just brings so much negative attention to the Grizzlies that's completely unnecessary and completely unwanted. And John Morant just dropped a signature shoe. No one's buying that anymore because he tanked his public image. A lot of people who were gonna buy that shoe are not going to anymore because of his behavior. And when you're the front office or the coaching staff of the Grizzlies or even the players on the team who don't have anything to do with this situation, this just unfortunately gets into the way of your success. Dylan Brooks is talking trash, that's one thing. However, this unfortunate situation always will just be around your team. You'll be like, oh, the Grizzlies. They have that guy named Ja, he's the best player. However, he can't keep himself together off the court. That's going to always stick with you as a team, especially when it's one of your best players. So the Grizzlies, their success is not going to be... The Grizzlies won't succeed like they want to unless Ja gets his act together and learns how to act in a team way. I mean, he's a superstar. He sets the example. He should lead by example. And that's just not how it is right now. And I know, yes, he's 23. Yes, there's a lot of pressure on him. However, I thought the first warning would turn him to a better person and make him more cautious in the future. And because of the Grizzlies lost in the playoffs so early and because this happened during the playoffs, this is going to be something that's going to be dragged out and talked about until the next season starts and when Jaws inevitable suspension gets decided and we don't even know how much he's going to be with the team next year because of this suspension that's going to be looming and superstars are supposed to show up in the big moments right we know guys like james harden who hasn't performed as well in his career in the playoffs we know guys like zion williamson who have unfortunately been injury riddled for most of their career however this is something way 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 worse than what those guys have gone through what those guys have not done if we continue with the example of James Harden, like yeah, he might be one of the worst playoff performing superstars of all time. However, no matter how bad he is in the playoffs, people still admire James Harden. People still want to play like James Harden. People still respect him as a player. People will still respect him as a leader. People respect him on and off the basketball court as a player and a person. 
And you can't say that for Ja, no matter how good he ends up being, no matter how much potential he has, he might have it all in the basketball court. He might be one of the best players in this league. However, you can't say the same for him as a person. And I'm sure many fans and people around the league lost their admiration and respect for this kid. And while this is the second time that's happened, I do believe in second chances, or in this case, third chances. And he's still young. He has lots to learn as a person in this world. I think John Morant can be very good as a player, but he can also reform who he is as a person. If he takes the necessary steps and, and mends the situation, works to become a better person. I think if he just learns his lesson, like, like completely, completely this time, he learns his lesson and he figures out, okay, I gotta stop it. I gotta cut it out. I need to act better as a person. And so when people are looking up to me, I can't do this to myself and I can't do this to them. If he understands that and just comes to that moment of self realization, I think John Morant can really turn his personal and public image around. And I think he can go back to how people loved him before this. Because I think if he turns it around and he really has a good public image, I think people will go back to respecting John Morant and people might even forget this happened in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was just my thoughts on the John Morant situation, how he portrayed himself, all the negative things he's done. I do believe in second chances, however, and I think Ja could make good use of one if he does everything that's right. Bye and thank you for watching.